to talk about this again. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about low self-assurance. So very interesting. Recently, I was speaking at a conference. In fact, it was um, a launch of an association of women empowerment in Asia, in Maldives. And as we were talking and having conversation, one of the speakers highlighted that from personal strength, from personal strength, when they do um, research on the strength that individuals have, one of the things that come out strongly is that women have got no self-assurance. Women have got no self-assurance. And this is interesting because when I coach leadership for women, one of the things that also come up is in low self-esteem or a negative self-image for most of us as, as women, as we lead. And hence, you have issues around um, imposter syndrome, and also you have issues around struggle to get up the ladder in terms of the uh, getting to the next level either leadership um um uh, either leadership ladder so low self-assurance as women what is that about and i think it's very important to understand it from a systemic um um level or from a systemic angle um because when we are talking about low self-assurance about women we're probably measuring things that are not seen uh, as natural things for women to do or things that they have been socially conditioned. You know that if we were to measure a, a woman um, in terms of their assurance in looking after kids or cooking or housework, you probably would see high self-assurance there because it's things that we are socially conditioned to do. But if you measure their self-assurance in um, you know, organizational things like you know, coming up with strategic objectives and um, you know, leading a team, um, and that is a different ballgame. And, and, and the system, that the way the system is structured within an organization, um, I mean, we talk about this to say, you know, we, women only started working maybe last 100 years. Before then, it was only men going to work. So most organizations are still structured in a way that, you know, allows men to be more uh, considered or to still more considered. But also, you will find that in, in most organizations right now, when you look at the executive level, this dominantly male. Yes, females are coming up. So as a result of that, um, chances are when you are the only black female in an executive team of all male, chances are you can second doubt or what if you can doubt yourself or you can second guess yourself um, because you are relying on people that are different from you to agree with you or people who might actually dismiss you and feel um, and have all stereotypes that they may have that then kind of challenges your self-belief. So yes, as women, we may experience low self-assurance. That is why when we are doing leadership for women coaching, the emphasis is on developing that positive self-image. And it's not a one-source, it's a continuous work we have to do until we feel confident. In fact, it's a continuous journey of building that positive self-image, building that high self-assurance in the things that probably we are not conditioned and trained to do. Thanks for tuning in.